A new pilot project to try and curb illegal activity within the tow truck industry on GTA highways has started. It's the first step toward trying to keep tow trucks from swarming people who are maybe in a collision or broken down on the side of the road. But those on the front line say it might still not be enough. Scenes of chaos on the side of highways with multiple trucks trying to cash in on the mayhem should be coming to an end. Instead, individual towing companies have been authorized by the province to clear specific zones on the 401, 400 and others in the GTA as part of a pilot project for now. What the consumer can expect to see now is that every tow that's done on that section of highway is going to be by a company that has been vetted by the government for um, quality of service equipment and operators and, 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 and company backgrounds. The aim is to regulate an industry that has been fraught with criminal activity for years. Turf wars escalating into investigations and charges relating to violent acts, leaving drivers caught in the middle. Ending the accident chasing regime means people can take comfort in knowing that a reputable tow operator will get there to help them get to a safe place. Since the province established its towing task force, the effort by different parties involved has been to create standardized licensing, training and equipment for the industry, something that is yet to come to fruition. As for when the new regulatory framework will be introduced, the only thing that the minister's office would tell City News is that, quote, our government is committed to seeing through. We were very pleased last year when the government decided to actually look at this issue provincially and look at regulatory, uh, you know, parameters for the industry. This pilot program is uh, a smaller part of that until that gets up and running. Those representing the industry at the provincial table, though, still have some concerns about an exclusive group being created for work alongside the road while waiting for established rules for everyone. We are all working uh, collectively right now trying to get this this model in place that's going going to uh, support um, the the motoring public in, in a safe equitable fashion and not hurt the reputable towing companies to the point where they can't survive tow truck operators in the pilot zones are required to show identification and a fee schedule to drivers get permission to tow to a preferred location and provide an invoice for services before payment is required. If you find yourself in need of assistance in a live lane of traffic on the highway, you're asked to call 911 to get emergency vehicles on scene. If you're in a safe area, like on a shoulder, you can call 511 and select the tow zone option to get an authorized company, or you can select your own roadside service like CAA. At the bottom of zone two at the 427, Mark McAllister, City News.